Tom Naylor, one of six players offered new contracts by the club last month, has decided not to sign the deal and is instead moving to League One rivals Portsmouth on a three-year deal. There was always likely to be interest in Naylor this summer away from the Pirelli Stadium. He was one of the Brewers' standout players as they agonizingly missed out on survival last season, and he had previously been linked with Sunderland before Pompey made their move. His high levels of performance in defense and midfield meant that rival clubs could look at him as a viable and versatile option to add to their squad. Tom Naylor celebrates getting Burton Albion's winner at Reading Image, Richard Burley, epic action imagery, as a free agent and out of contract that was only ever going to make the former Derby County player a more enticing proposition. What it proves, if we did not already know it, is that retaining the bulk of a squad from one campaign to another is easier said than done, especially following relegation. It has always been Clough's aim to target continuity in his squad as they prepare for a League One return. I think that's going to be key, trying to keep as many of them together, he said on the day Burton confirmed their retained list and offered new contracts to Naylor, Damian McRory, Jake Buxton, Hope Ackman, Lloyd Dyer and Harry Campbell. Of those six, Campbell and McRory have signed new deals while Buxton, Ackman and Dyer are yet to confirm their decisions. Though we were disappointing at times in the season, we were within four or five minutes of staying in the championship with this group of players, added Clough. We'd like to try to keep as many of them together as we can and compete in League One, Albion's thinking is clear. A team that put up such a fight for championship survival, albeit belatedly, showed that it could be expected to battle at the right end of the division below. Nigel Clough at Deepdale, Image, Nathan Sturk, Getty Images, but it was never likely to be as simple as getting through the summer and lining up for the first game of the 2018-19 season with an identical squad intact, barring those lone players back at their parent clubs. Clough has always been aware that, even in League One, the Brewers are battling with some big clubs, boasting greater resources and larger fan bases than their own. Portsmouth, for whom Naylor will turn out against Burton next season, won the FA Cup in 2008, were a Premier League side as recently as 2010 and had an attendance of more than 18,000 for their final home game of last season in the third tier. Those things will come into consideration when a player is weighing up contract options. So, too, will a team's prospects for the coming campaign and the longer term. Burton Albion fans react to Tom Naylor's Portsmouth transfer while Burton's aim is to be battling for an immediate return to the championship. Pompey's eighth-placed finish in 2017-18 suggests they will also be a big part of the promotion conversation. After a difficult few seasons, they look aside on the rise again. It was also interesting to see that, according to Clough, we, Burton, made Tom an offer that would have made him the joint highest-paid player at the club. It shows how intent they were to hold on to him. Understandably, what that offer was, and what sort of contract Naylor will now be on at Fratton Park, has not been disclosed. For Naylor, the opportunity for another challenge and the move to a huge club, as he put it, proved enough for him to end a brilliant three-and-a-half-year association with Albion that saw him score one of the most important goals in the club's history, among other crucial contributions. Time will tell whether similar opportunities arise for Buxton, Ackman and Dyer, the three out-of-contract brewers still yet to finalize their futures. Hope Ackman of Burton Albion, image, James Wilson, epic action imagery, there is the chance, too, that interest could be shown in offers made for some of Albion's under-contract stars, whether that be from championship clubs giving them a chance to stay in the second-tier or League One rivals like Portsmouth. As and when those situations arise, it is ultimately down to the player to decide what next step they want to take. Clough previously suggested that it could be a quiet summer transfer window on the incoming front if Burton were to retain the majority of their 2017-18 squad. What Naylor's departure showed is that it could yet be a big if 